Hi, and welcome to Lessons with Cameron. Now we're going to take a look at the Minerik Lotus Ocean Burst Single Cutaway Guitar. It is a wonderful instrument, definitely for the price. I stand behind these things all day long. Uh, what I'd like to talk about their finishes. They have great tops. We have a uh, maple top here. We have a quilted maple top with a great finish on it. And then we've got mahogany on the back. So if you caught our Les Paul video, you'll notice that it's the same basic wood construction. It's got a lot of mojo in it. Now some of the things that you'll notice that are different from this and say a traditional Les Paul is that uh, there's what we call the tone tail engineering from Minerik and they've added this extra wood to this base side to kind of balance out the guitar overall picking up uh, some of the deficiencies of the basic design. So we've got the same knob configuration you get on a Gibson which would be to, you know two volume knobs and two tone knobs. We've got a stop bar tailpiece here, so we've got a two-piece bridge, much like you'd find on a Gibson. So there's a lot of design cues taken from Gibson here. We've got two humbucker pickups, the three-way switch. On our neck, we've got some really creative inlays, so I like the way this one's laid out. The neck and head stock are both bound, so this one's bound all the way around. You've got some abalone inlay for the uh, inlays themselves on the guitar. The headstock, of course, has a nice little lotus carved into it, plus the M for Minaret guitars. It's a really fancy looking bell cover and overall as far as looks go it's a really pretty guitar and one of the great things about these is that not only are they pretty but they're affordable and they sound really good. So when I did my last tour I actually took one of these with me as my secondary guitar behind my uh, Medusa. It worked out pretty good. So I'm gonna give a little bit of play. I'm gonna play through some different sounds, do some different pickup configurations. I'll start at the neck pickup with some clean on and it would sound a little like this. Now let's th go ahead and throw on some distortion and see what we can find on the other side of things. So I'm going to switch this over to the bridge pickup. It's got a little bit more bite. So it's a little too much for clean, but it's great when we put a little crunch on it. That's pretty much sums up a lot of the flavor that this thing brings. It's kind of less Paul-like. It's not exactly the same though. It's got a different bite to it. It doesn't have as much punch, I guess you could say. It's got a more refined sound to it. So it's a lot like if you took a Gibson Les Paul to finishing school, it might come out sounding more like this. 
The arch top is a real nice touch. They also come with a flat top, but uh, I'd say spring for the extra hundred dollars and get the arch top because it is just, they're just gorgeous. Uh, the tuners are standard size tuners with a three-step tuning key. These things work pretty well right out of the box. They're uh, jumbo tuners, which is kind of nice, I suppose. They've got a standard nut here, and overall engraved tailpiece. It's just a real nice looking guitar, great sounding guitar, real reliable workhorse, and uh, if you can get your hands on one, it's a great guitar to tote around just for any occasion. So. Again, this is the Minaric Lotus. This is the Ocean Burst. It is an import guitar, and it is some of the just best playing guitars you're going to find under a thousand bucks. So check them out. Thanks for joining us. This is Lessons with Cameron. Make sure you subscribe.